Hey everybody, it's Dr. Neil, and today we are going to look at just a small little trinket of forgotten history, while I work on setting up for some bigger things, that I'll touch upon at the end of the video. And this is the Hot Wheels Monster Truck Maker! The only toy that yes indeed lets you make your own monster truck. The Monster Truck Maker came out in 2001, just one year after Hot Wheels had acquired a license to produce Monster Jam trucks, and debuted at the same time as the 164 scale Monster Jam trucks. Something that failed entertainment would never allow to happen now. But things were different 20 years ago it seems. The Monster Truck Maker came in an assortment of three, the chassis being the same in all of them. The only difference is the two die-cast cars that they came packed with. It sold at a price point around $5 in 2001. I have two of the three packs here to show today. The first one I'm looking at features the Dodge Sidewinder and a 97 Corvette. Turn your Hot Wheels vehicles into monster trucks. It's very simple, straightforward, and a top-notch idea. Create your own monster truck. Snap on monster truck chassis. Two Hot Wheels vehicles. The one we are going to open though comes with the Cunningham C4R and a Mega Duty truck. We're opening this one partly because, well, when I got it, it was open already. The monster truck chassis is completely plastic, all the way down to the tires, which makes it feel cheap. There's no way around it. No doubt this was a cost saving feature, nonetheless it deserves real tires. The chassis has these little moving posts that adjust lengthwise to the diecast car as the spring extends and contracts based on the wheel width of the car as well, accommodating a plethora of diecast cars. The stance is a little wide though. It really stands out. It's like, it looks like a bulldog almost. But as far as criticism goes, that's where it stops. This is a really fun and solid toy. And to illustrate that point, we're gonna test its limits. Just how many annoying body shapes can this Hot Wheels monster truck maker fit? Let's start it off by looking at Hot Wheeler, a pre-existing, uh, Hot Wheels monster truck car. They stand at the same height, mostly because of the chassis on the monster truck maker being so tall. The wheels on the monster truck maker are noticeably smaller. But they look pretty much the same as a one by one comparison, other than it's just uh, one is a die cast car and the other one is a monster truck. It's really cool seeing them side by side like this. And once you're done playing with each other, the diecast car pops right off, hops on the monster truck, and they take on out of here. Oop. So what else can we do with it? Let's put some character cars in it. Will it fit in R2? Yes. Yeah, well, no. Not. Yes, yes and no. We got a little R2 monster truck. Cool. How about the C3PO? Definitely fit a C3PO. That would actually be a, a pretty funny conversion. The juxtaposition of him not uh, being monster truckish, being made a monster truck. Fun. Hey, what else can we do? Uh, here's a Captain America motorcycle. Too big, doesn't fit. Alright, let's see if this Lincoln limo fits. It's actually a little bit too long. But it's kind of funny, a limousine monster truck. And, uh, this guy's cool, it's uh, one of those old GM trucks. It doesn't really fit, but... Man, that looks cool. I'd actually like to turn this one into a monster truck on its own, with the updated chassis and whatnot. Here's a hammered coupe. Yeah, that's what I thought. Really too long. <laughs> I'm really picking the awkward shapes here. That's funny. Let's see if Mario fits. Push those in a little bit. And no, it's, it's kind of the same as the uh, R2-D2 car. It's just too short. I think the back wheels are too wide as well. Hey, and here's a... What are these? Road Warriors, I think? This is another, um, I believe, Bruce Reinecker. And uh, Mark Jones did a lot of... Uh, 
Road Warrior sketches. See if that fits. Yeah, that fits. Give it uh, even more of a Mad Maxy feel. That would also be a cool uh, line to stick on monster truck chassis. I think we can do that in the future. Hey, who lives on a monster truck chassis under the sea? It's a VW Beetle SpongeBob. So there's a lot of variety that you can do with this, and this one's kind of my favorite car at the moment. It's this uh, Fanny Pack Mustang. Reminds me of growing up in the uh, late '80s, early '90s. That guy's fun. I just like the color scheme. So let's see if we can crush some cars. How it handles. Set these guys up here. Mow it on over. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool monster truck. But it's cool. I'd really, uh, yeah, I dig it. This is one of my favorite old monster truck toys as of now. It's weird that I just discovered it recently. I think it has to do with that. Uh, I think it has to do with Feld not wanting a competing monster truck item out at the same time. So these things get put in the back burner. Sad. This guy's awesome. And there you have it. Short, simple, the Hot Wheels Monster Maker from 2001. Let me know if you had this toy. I totally recommend it if you can find it. There is really a lot of play with it. Near endless possibilities which lets me segue into my channel announcement i'm reaching the exciting first milestone for any channel on youtube and that's the 1000 subscriber mark something i'm planning on hitting before the end of the year and i need your help i would like to do a special episode for that milestone where i take an existing hot wheels or even matchbox car and turn it into a monster truck but i don't want to be the one who picks it I want my subscribers to do that. So if you would like your pick to make it into the 1000 sub video, write in the comments below which Hot Wheels car you would like to see made into a monster truck. Go ahead and pick any car from the entire library. Try to keep it away from the pink VW buses. Make it fun and awesome. Hit me up on any of the below mentioned social media platforms. I will put them all into a jar and draw the winner at random. I'll also be doing a face reveal and a new studio setup. This should be a lot of fun guys, so subscribe, like, and comment which car you would like to see. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Dr. Neil, yo!